All right. So let's bring up the first story here. So a Romanian court extends detention of ex kickboxer Andy. Let's call him Andy boy for the rest of the story breakdown. So I don't have to do all the censorship. Like the reason we've been really heavily censoring our videos lately is because if you mention I either if you speak either a curse word or any vague allusion to something controversial and something recent in the media, then your video just gets instantly demonetized. So we'll use abbreviations, the word grape, um, the word Andy boy as a euphemism for, um, <laughs> you know, uh, the man in question here. And um, yeah, we're just going to be breaking down this news. So Romanian court extends detention of ex kickboxer Andy Boy in Grape HT case. Okay. So obviously, just a few points to remember um, as a refresher before we go over this article. Andy Boy has built up a large following on social media. A uh, former professional kickboxer was detained in Bucharest on some um, really conspicuous charges. He gained notoriety for misogynistic comments and hate speech because, you know, he's a constant disseminator of that as this really red pilly, um, really sexist, chauvinist type. And I just I, I really recommend that people do not watch his, his content. It's not good at all. So let's read here. A Romanian court agreed on late Friday to extend the detention of by 30 days after the divisive... Ah, flip. Okay. A Romanian court agreed late on Friday to extend the detention of Andy Boy by 30 days after the divisive internet personality was arrested on suspicion of HR, grape, and forming an organized crime group to, you know, um, HT these women. Presumably, uh, of course, that's alleged. I'm not making any legal declarative statement in this, but, you know, the evidence points to where it points to, okay? Like, this was the same guy who literally said he moved to Romania because women, actually, the police in Romania were actually less likely to pursue an essay allegation from a woman there. So, you know really shows where this guy's head is, legally and morally. The former professional kickboxer and his brother, Tristy Boy, were detained on Thursday for an initial 24 hours alongside two Romanian suspects, prosecutors from the anti-organized crime unit said after raiding their properties in Bucharest. The prosecutors had then petitioned the court to extend their detention. Okay. Uh, commenting on the court decision, Andy Boy's lore... Eugen Constantin Vidinas told reporters, from our perspective, there are no grounds for taking this most drastic preventative measure, but it is the judge's prerogative. Prosecutors said that <laughs> had been under criminal... I got their name again. Prosecutors said the brothers had been under criminal investigation since April. The four suspects appear to have created an organized crime group with the purpose of recruiting, housing, and... Um, exploiting women by forcing them to create um, adult content meant to be seen on specialized websites for a cost, the prosecutor said in a statement late on Thursday. Jesus Christ, man. I mean, th this really illustrates, you know, where, where this guy's business mindset is at. I I'm beginning to think he's, like, guilty, and I won't even, you know, put a legal disclaimer in my program. So... The prosecutor said they had found six women who had been SE'd by the suspect, who was born in the United States, holds U.S. I said his name again. Andy Boy, who was born in the United States, holds U.S. and British nationality. The U.S. State Department confirmed that it was aware of the case. Britain's Foreign Office said it had not been approached for consular assistance over the case. Okay. So. Andy Boy and Tristy Boy are escorted by police officers outside of the headquarters for, of the Directorate for Investigating Organized Crime and um, T-Word in Bucharest after being detained for 24 hours. Okay. 
Indie Boy gained notoriety for misogynistic comments and hate speech. He has said women are partially responsible for, for being graped and that they belong to men um, as property, as chattel. I mean, like, this guy is, you know, really, really sick on some level or another. Actually, you know, just to lighten the mood, let's play some music. Yeah. Okay. I think that's good. So, his promotion on social media of an ultra masculine, luxurious lifestyle has earned him a large online following among mostly young men. He has often appeared in videos with expensive sport cars on private. Uh, jets and on exotic holidays you know because of course when you're making um how do i say the t word without saying it um stop and go money <laughs> get it see what i did there stop and go money um and this is quite possibly on a legal business then yeah uh, you're going to be pretty loaded Many social media platforms banned him over his comments, but his Twitter account became active again in November after Musky Boy took over the platform. In one of his tweets following his return to Twitter, Andy Boy said he was flying to California to tell Musky Boy he was a legend because, of course, love other Okay. Uh, climate activist <laughs> Gretty told Andy Boy on Twitter this week before his arrest to get a life after he told her he owned 33 cars with enormous emissions. Yeah, again, just him deliberately being a horrible person. Um, paid it back on Wednesday with a video in which he asks somebody to out of shot to bring him a pizza and make sure the boxes were not recycled. Okay. God damn it. Following Online speculation that the brand of pizza featured in the video helped police confirm Andy Boy's presence in Romania. Um, Reddy qu quipped on Twitter that this is what happens when you don't recycle our pe your pizza boxes. Yeah, I mean, climate karma. Honestly, it's coming for you. You know, if you provoke Mother Nature, Mother Nature is going to send her agents and provoke you back one way or another. Okay, okay. However, the anti-organized crime unit representative said it was not the case that arrest had been... Oh, my God. That Andy Boy's arrest had been made as a result of pizza boxes. Andy Boy, a former contestant on the UK reality show Big Brother, operates the Hustlers University, which claims to have over uh, 160,000 users who pay a subscription to learn about topics such as cryptocurrencies, investment, and business. And I'm pretty sure they get a commission for recruitment. So it is a pyramid scheme. Again, uh, folks, this is some scary, scary, scary stuff. I I'm glad that they've actually decided to extend his detention because th this man, it really does seem like he's a menace to society. And...